Okay, my outstanding friends, new species of human beings are being found on a regular basis. Now they're up to something like 385, and they haven't even taken into account the pre-flood species, including no-toes. Okay, here it is. Another new study says uh, from the University of Cambridge suggests that interspecies competition significantly influenced the tra evolutionary trajectory of hominins like us, resulting in a bizarre evolutionary pattern for the Homo lineage. This research also proposes revised timelines for the emergence and extinction of various early human ancestors. Okay, now they get into the fact that we have been ignoring the way competition between species has shaped our own evolutionary tree said the lead author of the University of Cambridge. The effect of climate on hominid species is only part of the story. Now, it's a continuous war, literally, between different groups for the resources. That's, that's understood. But what is not understood is the pre-flood species that turned into stone. They're looking for shell, for for um, bones. <laughs> they did not survive the flood. All right. Recent decades have seen a discovery of several new hominid species, such as notos. Now they say the new database. Every time they find something, they log it, and they have 385 in total. Fossils can be an unreliable measure of species lifetimes. The earliest fossil we find will not be the earliest members of a species. That's correct. They haven't paid any attention to the pre-flood species. This has always been the problem. It says how well an, organized fo an organism fossilizes depends on the geology, the climate conditions, whether it is hot or dry or damp, with the research efforts concentrated in certain parts of the world, and we might well have missed younger or older fossils of a species as a result. Yes. Okay, not only do I have the foot, I have the footprint which fits per almost perfect to this foot. And that footprint is in Triassic rock. This is the red bed, which is red bed, then it's supposed to be gray clay on top, and then a black cap. Well, this is red bed, but the gray clay that was on top got pushed down because of a foot. Pushed that gray clay down through the red bed, so they were both wet at the same time. It's a perfect footprint and it fits exactly this foot. And then the, the black cap came on top. All three of these layers had to happen virtually within the same time, point in time, within a few days of each other for sure. These were both wet at the same time. The gray clay is now down below where it should be. This should be all red bed across here. Instead, the gray clay that was up here is now down at the same level as the red bed because the guy stepped on it. And then the black cap fell down on top of everything because that was the fall off from all of the volcanoes and all that stuff. This was the Great Flood. It's worldwide, red bed, gray clay, black cap. I am in the signature Triassic zone, six miles from Dinosaur State Park. This changes everything. And the, these pre-flood humanoids with, that have springs in the feet, Totally different than what we thought before. You see that? That's the gray clay right here. You see the gray? It's pushed down through the red bed. You see how red that is? That's supposed to be the red bed. Then there was gray clay on top. Well, this is pushed down through. See the gray? That's not supposed to be below that red. The red is supposed to be complete to here, except the gray is pushed down through because this guy stepped on it. And these are the balls of his feet right here. It fits exactly perfect to my foot. <laughs> Maybe I was here in a past life. 
Okay, I think I've showed you everything. I showed you the springs that are in where the bones should be. This spring loads up and it charges that spring, just real quickly. The heel, of course, and the strap, and then the, where the bone sits in the top. And this cradle rocks like this. This thing goes up one and it loads this spring. So you got a spring, a secondary spring. And that's what gives you the same effect as a tendon. It's almost exactly the same. Pretty well engineered.